February the 13th, 2014. Guys, in, there's some interesting information on 20P, uh, 209P linear, the Jupiter family comet. They started out talking about uh, this may being heavy in uh, meteor showers. Now they're talk, kind of going into meteor storms, and it goes right along with what we're talking about for this year. We've been talking about this with Michael. But it's above Earth, and it's coming down. Now, it's a five-year periodic comet. In other words, it comes through the inner solar system every five years. But it doesn't get this close to Earth. It passes right in front of it. You see that? They're saying it's not going to hit the Earth. But the, they're concerned now because the debris field is a combined debris field that the Earth has never passed through before. It's a combination going back into the 1800s of the multiple orbits and the multiple uh, paths of this comet. But this is still a close approach. They're saying that the uh, nucleus could be about 600 meters. Now, normally, if you add 10, if you take that and multiply it by 10, you're going to be at the bottom estimate. You're going to be a lot closer. You understand what I'm saying? 6,000 meters would probably be a lot closer than 600 meters for the size of this object, the way they do their NASA math. We've already seen that with the other comets. But again, it's not supposed to hit the Earth, but it has a heavy debris trail. Again, a combination of cycles that we're going through, plus we're going to be this close. Look at that. To a, again, not an asteroid, but a comet. Big difference. Now, they, because of the age of the comet, they don't know how much dust is left and how, what type of show it's going to start putting on for us as it gets closer. Again, we will know <clears throat> a month ahead of time, as it, uh, excuse me, in May 6th at the close approach to the sun, if it's going to light up and get bright, of course, that would be when we will know it for sure because that's what will create a lot of the... Uh, the outer comma of a comet like this. But when, I want to show you something on the... Uh, they've now got a map and a chart for the debris field. As we look at this backing up to May 24th. Now that's the, also the date that the Pope will be in, again, Israel. Here's a picture, a linear, pulled up. Again, when not a lot of information as far as the correct size and they're saying 600 meters i doubt it not at that distance not at this size but guys the debris field on this thing is now they're starting to chart it again starting to get maps of it and in may we're going to have we probably going to have some trouble we know that later in october we have uh, comet sighting spring surrounding mars and its moons as it comes by with its outer comma but here you can see the orbital uh data first orb was used uh 20, 2003 goes down to show you 2014 february 11th two days ago was the last solution date but even though they have used they just found it in 2003 they'll go back in time with the orbits and project where it's been but it's a periodic comet discovered in February 3rd. Said that it may be 100 to 400 meters per hour as we go through this. Notice right above that the constellation Camel Leopardalis. That's where it's going to come from. You recognize that? Remember the kid that got in trouble for doing the hoax at, or the said hoax at the University of Austin about the object coming above Earth? It was coming from the constellation Camel Leopardalis. Is this what he was seeing, guys? This meteor storm and this object? And this, is that why they're trying to shut him down? But uh, again, May 6th, it's saying the close approach to the sun. Now, guys, this next chart, I want you to pause it and take a close look at it <clears throat> because it starts on May 23rd at the top. The Earth is the black line. It's passing through this debris field on May 24th and now at the bottom of the right on May 25th. You see that? That is what they're mapping now as the debris field. Check that out. Again, Pope Francis has announced he will travel to Israel, be there, uh, visit Amman, Bethlehem during those couple of days. You know that the Pope knows about any objects coming above the earth. They have the Vatican, the excuse me, the Lucifer telescope at, uh, called at the VAT, their astronomy at Mount Graham in Arizona. 
This is showing the path coming over Russia as it comes in that day. Here they're giving you a nucleus size of 600 meters. We assume the nuclear nucleus density of 300 kilograms meters cubed. So, again, we, we know and we've been told that they undersized this very much. So, here we go. In the third week of May, we're going to start going into a meteor shower. We've been told in March that we're going to start getting smaller objects picking up over time. Guys, I'm doing a video uh, I'll have up in the morning on the half hour in Revelation. You know where it says uh, there was about a half hour pause. And guys, we may be not only in the middle of that, but very near the end of that pause in 2014. Heads up, be safe.